I've just dropped in to um, I got uh, I've just dropped in to show you what I've been doing today, which is probably something that everybody knows how to do, and I don't know because I don't actually have internet out here. I just re record on my, on my phone and then take it inside. So um, I probably am not the first person to, to come up with this. That is for sure. But anyway, I'm at my studio. I don't have any internet. I received in the mail these fantastic um, paper cutouts today, a pack of them which I ordered ages ago because I love gates and mandalas and, and they, they're they just so beautiful. God, I would never be able to do them. Anyway, and I do understand that you can probably get these in a stencil, which I also don't have, but what I, w I wanted to do when I got them is to I wanted to try and keep them and um, utilize them more than once. Obviously, they're for um, just gluing down a sort of a one-off one-off thing. Um, but I would like, yeah, I want to keep them. So what I did was I put um, these are some of the stencils actually um, that I've been trying out. And I'll show you. So they all they stenciled up. Really nicely, that's the um, ghost print. Some of them, some of them worked better than others, but I like the grunginess of, you know, how the half prints that you get when you, you know, trying something new, which this is completely new to me. So I just thought I'd show you some of these. This one here even got the pattern of the paper in it somehow. That's the only one, and I don't know really what went wrong there, but I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, some of them got the paper, the paper pattern, which was very interesting. So these are see-through, you know, transparent ones that I would use or part thereof in, in projects, I'm thinking. So I love those. These ones are pretty much just similar with the peacock. And the blues. All right. So what I did was I had no Vaseline or any oil of any description. So what I actually did was I just got some very old lip balm that was kicking about, and I, you know, would never use it. It's like strawberry flavored. Don't even know where it came from, but it, it landed out here. And I just spread some on there. And I spread some on here. This is strawberry flavoured. <laughs> it is, it's got some sort of Vaseline-y kind of, you know, base to it. Hopefully not petroleum. It doesn't say lip balm, wild strawberry and lily. But it's very old, and you know how lip balm just goes off. So you, you just can't can't keep it. You can't keep it. Been kicking out of here for a while, so I don't really know why it was kicking out here, but it was. Okay, so what I did was that, and then here's two I've done earlier. I might move over here. Well, I'll move this one over here, actually, and I'll use that one. So that, that's been covered. And I sat it on the heater. So um, the wax actually sort of melted in to the paper. Just to resist the... Um, I was trial trialing the um, stencil, you know, online. I've seen that you can, you know, people use that sort of stuff. But they're just missed. I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to put that on the heater, um, and all is well in the world. So, after it's come back from the heater, uh, it just looks like this. Very translucent. It's a bit pink because of the wild strawberry. And it smells 
But it actually smells interesting because it's actually not good, if you know what I mean. It's not good anymore, so it smells a bit funky. But mm, for the purpose of... This chapstick um, also, a watermelon one right at the start, and then I ran out, so and then I moved on to that. Why they're in my studio? God, don't really know. Oops, nearly forgot, nearly forgot. Um, oh, that would have been interesting if I hadn't have um, cleaned the plate. I have seen, though, you can print with Vaseline or do something, and, but I don't want to do that. I just, I have tried. I've been, um, I haven't quite worked out whether they, I like them or not. If I like them, I'll show them to you, but if I don't, well, you'll never see them. <laughs> Alright, just getting rid of all of that off the plate, like so. Also, it's pulling off some of my grunge, which is a shame, but that's okay. This is only my little plate. My big grungy plates are all safe and sound. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with a one colour. Just get my plate for cleaning down here, and I might pull that actually on the top of that one. I've been using those as a bit of a scrap sort of thing gold on oh no maybe I might actually try it now I haven't tried this because this is actually quite a watery consistency this one Let's see how that goes especially because this is a very thin piece of paper we usually like try I notice that when you roll you've got to be very careful you just sort of roll out not roll it I, a couple of times I rolled it up onto the actual roller all right we'll just pull this I think I can make some grungy looking doors and because um, I quite like doors and windows and I've been collecting lately you know things Oh, nice. Things that I I like, you know, for my art journals. I've never done art journals before. I, I mean, that's not a lie, actually. I've always done art journals, but I've not done an art journal in the way where I've done a piece of art. I've always stuck things in that I like, pictures I've found into a like a collective journal that you go to when you're designing something. But I've never done, like pictures in an in a journal like I'm doing at the moment whatever okay so that's exciting it's actually quite pastely I love it um so we might do um I might do what's underneath the blue oh, okay we might do my peacock on there um yeah anyway so i've been collecting all of these drawings off my computer and printing them out uh, and so forth just to get an, and coffee staining them i spent a couple of hours coffee staining all these pieces <laughs> people like really really get into the old coffee staining i love coffee stained paper it's great Totally get it. Just wonderful. That's that peacock um, paint I made. And very nice. Not that I, I know, can you see the shimmer in it? See, when I get the bigger plate, I can use all sorts of I can use these in a different way than I'm using right now and this because this is just a test 
Um, and I do have these little, and you remember these little uh, from the um, nail place. Just great for getting it up. So there it is. So I've got a couple of prints off before I've pulled it up gently. This one's got a, a really nice flat, where's the camera on this thing? This one's got a nice flat uh, edge, rubber edge. It's very bendy. I don't know how you would push back your cuticles with that. It seems very, very, not that I have any cuticles as you saw. Um, it seems very, very, very soft. I just wondered whether they had a name on them, but no. <coughs> they don't have a name on them, so I can't even tell you what they are. They're very cute. They are cute. And I have found um, a lot of uses for them so far. Okay, now I want this to dry up a little bit. Uh, because the last time I... Um, did it i pulled it too soon and it just smudged into i think it was this one it just smudged into like silvery or golden which is very nice it kind of looks like um the moon you know you can see the moon in the sky i think that that's actually where that one's going to it's going to be like a full part of a full moon page or something so i uh, while that's drying up so i've got all of these, I've got all these different um, different ones now, mandalas. And in here I've got sort of a fence and a couple of gates. So I think it came in a... I don't know whether you can see those. Can you see those through there? Oh yeah, you can. Um, so there's a couple of gates and a window, a stained glass window, yeah glass window and old iron gates you know those iron gates just fantastic anyway um i'm sure you all know about them but that's okay i also found while i'm waiting for this to just to dry up a little bit i also found um some paper of my, my mum used to play the piano and it's look it's got rusted even rusted um uh, staples in the music paper so that that's kind of cool um, I'll use some of her her music all right I'm gonna put this on now I think old and I'll let it dry for long enough. Paper. I also got given funny when you start doing um <laughs> collage and in books and things and i'm talking to people and everything's miniature and friends uh came along and, and gave me um they gave me these miniature playing cards i've never seen them in my life i mean you would be amazed if you could actually play with them you'd be hard pressed i think but uh Okay, so that that didn't. Whoa, yeah. Okay. So let's see if I can see the shimmery. Can you see that? So it's got that beautiful antique gold over the top of the blue. The whole piece is extremely shimmery and so forth, but um. Ah, oh, that, that will look awesome in, in somewhere, somewhere on something. Um, these cards, yeah, that was, that was funny. Look at these cards. <laughs> so, they're like, 
one inch by one inch by one and a half inches or something. <laughs> so funny. Look, they do. Little tiny, tiny miniature gum. <laughs> I think that they're just gorgeous. I have no idea what page I'm going to use them on, but I'm, I will use them. I will use them just because um, I can. All right. All right. Um, so that was my little trick of the day. Uh, and I will thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and you take care of yourselves in isolation and I'll catch you soon. Bye.